Pain is defined as an unpleasant, sensory, and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such a damage. Let's look at a representation of pain pathways. Stimulation of pain pathways typically begins with the stimulus. The stimulus is welcomed by the receptors. In this case these receptors are nociceptors. Basically, within the pain pathway, there are three orders of neurons that carry action potentials signaling pain. First order neurons, then second order neurons, and lastly third order neurons. The first mechanism of pain pathway is activation of first order neurons. Some first order neurons have specialist receptors called nociceptors which are activated through various noxious stimuli. Nociceptors exist at the free nerve endings of the primary afferent neuron. Nociceptors can be found in the skin, muscle, joints, bone, and organs, other than the brain, and can fire in response to a number of different stimuli. Mechanical nociceptors detect the distension of skin, stretch, and pressure which elicit sharp, pricking pain. Chemical nociceptors detect exogenous and endogenous chemical agents, such as prostanoids, histamines etc. Thermal and mechanothermal nociceptors detect thermal sensations that elicit slow and burning, or cold and sharp in nature, pain. Polymodal nociceptors detect mechanical, thermal, and chemical stimuli. Stimulation of pain pathways typically begins with the stimulus of a nociceptor, which is a special pain-sensing nerve. That stimulus is propagated along the course of a peripheral nerve toward the spinal cord, but it's not painful yet. Eventually, that signal will reach the spinal cord, where it will be passed from the first order or primary neuron to the second order neuron. Again, it's still not paining here. We see an example of that signal being transmitted from one nerve to another. Now, this is an important area because this is one of the areas where some of our medications have an effect on pain and how pain is being perceived and transmitted. Eventually, the pain signal ends within the spinal cord and reaches parts of the brain. First, the thalamus, and then out to the cortex. Now, this is where things get very interesting because it's not until that signal reaches the cortex and other areas of the brain where it's interpreted in some emotional context only then are it experienced as pain again. That's why I truly believe that all pain is in the brain.